hello everyone today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic of spark so the topic is like how to find data skewness is present in spark or not or we can frame the question as how to get number of how to get number of rows from each partition in spark so actually first of all we will discuss what is data skewness okay okay data skewness means actually uh, in big data actually uh, data is distributed over multiple clusters okay and each cluster contains multiple partitions so and actually partition means like a small set of data okay uh, we can call it as and actually if few partitions are containing more number of data and few partitions are containing very less number of data then at that time data skewness will come in picture and i believe whoever whoever is working on big data <coughs> he might have faced issue uh, issue related to data skewness multiple times so actually we are going to discuss how we can resolve that or how we can ide identify whether we have a data skewness present in our application or not because of that see actually our application slows down so there, there might be two issues first one is resource we are not getting enough resource or second one is data skewness so if we want to identify whether data skewness is present in our application or not then we can use this technique this technique we are going to discuss it in today's session okay Chalo. so for now actually what i did i have created the uh, boilerplate code okay this is what we can call it a boilerplate code where i have what i did i ha i have created spark conf object and i have tried to set two properties one is spark application name and since i am running it in local so i have given spark master sorry spark dot master as local and i tried to create a spark session with a like standard way okay and actually i have one csv file okay so order dot csv okay and i tried to load it and i i tried to create the data frame out of it let me show you how it looks okay so this is the csv file and if you see there are almost 68000 records are there okay so now what we can do <coughs> if you see i did data uh, orders df dot show so if you see we are getting the records so now we, we just wanted to know like how many partitions are present in this uh, data frame so what i can do how to convert data frame uh, into rdd by using rdd okay dot we can do one thing get num partitions okay and what i will do i will try to store this into one variable called partitions okay and what i will do i will try to print it partitions so now if you see here you will get to know okay, like i have only one partition okay let's get executed see there are there is only one partition so actually uh, we, we uh, miss like all the data will be present in the one partition okay so what we will do instead of doing that what we will do we, we will do order df we will do we will do repartition okay so that our data will be distributed Oh, I will try to do a repartition it okay and I will store it in another variable and if here if I try to do sorry what I will do orders df dot rdd dot get num partition okay and I will store it in some variable partitions and partitions what i will do i will try to do print over here 
okay okay then what i will do i will try to run it and see there are eight partitions okay wait a moment yeah see there are eight partitions okay means data is distributed over eight partitions so i want to know count of each partition means how many um, how many records each partition contains that's what our question is okay so what we will do i will comment it out okay okay just what i will do i will remove this okay and now what i will do i will try to do orders df hmm? select okay so actually in spark we have one function called spark underscore partition id okay so through which we can identify each partition and we can get the count of rows so what we can do spark underscore partition underscore id is our function okay so for now what i will do i will give some alias alias as some partition id okay so that uh, we will have some partition id okay and now once we got the partition id i want to do group by over the same partition id that we have partition id okay and i want count of rows okay and i want to show that data frame here itself okay all good then we will try to run it see we have eight uh, partitions okay that data will be distributed over eight partitions then we here we will get the count of each partition means how many rows each partition contains okay okay uh spark partition id dot alias okay sorry uh might be i uh, might be wrong okay what uh, we need to do we need to give alias in, inside itself okay so let's see how it goes okay so here yeah see the actually partition id starts with zero so there are eight partition and if you see each partition contains almost same number of records so actually here we can prove it like how every partition will uh, move data into the uh, means like uh, we'll try to make sure each partition will contain same number of records so this is how we can prove it like through repartition full shuffle of data happens and each partition contains same number of records yeah through which also we can you can try to explore coalesce also over here